Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is March the 5th, 2021. You can already tell the price prediction that we are going to do today on this video. It is Cardano. Now, before we go into that prediction as to where we are expecting price to go, definitely, if you appreciate it, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to this particular channel. You might want to tap that bell as well to ensure that you do not miss out on our price prediction that we are seeing from the traps perspective also if you want to join us during our lookout live stream session we do have a couple of perks that we are offering is right next to that subscribe button on your device click on that join button and you have access to our other content our custom emojis as well as our loyalty badges that we have created for those who value this particular channel so let's get started into our cardano price prediction you guys can see uh, March the 2nd was the last time we did our prediction. It was about three days ago. And here we are. We expected a market in Cardano to go to the downside, to go lower in price. And as you all can tell, we really weren't expecting that much weakness. And I really emphasized that on our video that we did on March the 2nd. Now, the trap two days into our prediction has came and hit our ultimate TP price right there um, on March the 4th, 10.4% profitability that was completed that was done we anticipated that and now that is over we need to get rid of it and see where the market is going to go next so i told you all that the market in cardano really needed to hold price above a dollar and 20 cents and the trap he didn't even want to keep the price there he tried to maintain it you guys can see it from march the second to march the third he wanted to keep the price above a dollar and 20 but then he fell the next day on March the 4th, yesterday, he broke that support area. So what does that mean for the market in Cardano? Well, it simply means that the market is not that strong. Now, what we're seeing today into the market in Cardano is this. You can see right here that the market is trying to keep that trend in play. So as we watch this market trade throughout the weekend, it's going to be real important for the market to trade above that line that we got drawn, that ascending line. The market has to keep above that in order for this market in Cardano to maintain this massive movement higher in price that started all the way back here in February. So for the whole month of February, you got to think about it. Cardano has seen price movement higher almost every day. 28 days, the market in Cardano has either moved to the sideways and then resumed back up to higher price. It was towards the end of February that we've seen the inundation of selling coming through right there on the 27th. So the weakness in Cardano continued. So now we're trying to see some emphasis of buyers coming to the market. See, that's one thing we all need to realize is that everyone is looking at the same type of information. Where you get the advantage is on how you interpret that information and how forward thinking you are into where you expect price to go. That is how you get the advantage over everyone else in the market. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this area, $1.20. This area now, since we broke that um, $1.20 area to the downside on the 4th of March, would now be acting as restriction, okay? Simply meaning, once this trap tries to bring that price back up to $1.20, expect to see selling occur and the market try to get back down below that price. Let's see here real quick on a three day time frame into the market in Cardano. Uh, definitely that last three day price bar definitely shows us that there is still weakness and so much so that the weakness into the market in Cardano can literally see this cryptocurrency start a consolidation of trading range, which would be around this vicinity. OK, right there around a dollar up here towards this dollar 20 area we can actually see the market in Cardano for the month of March bounce in between this area. And as we see this market in Cardano bounce in between those two lines, we'll have a better idea as to whether or not we're going to resume back up to higher price or we're going to break that to the downside. We're giving you all the play right now as to what the market is anticipated to do for the month of March. Because on this last completed three day price bar, it lets us know that this trend in Cardano it is in jeopardy of being broken. It is what it is. We are giving you all a heads up as to what we're expecting the market to do. And definitely 
on that conclusion of this three day price bar right here lets us know that that trend is now in jeopardy of being broken. Now, let's see real quick on the five day time frame. you guys can see here, got a day and 13 hours left, but for the most part, the market in Cardano is still garnering weakness. Now I wanna to pinpoint to you that the market in Cardano is really not all that weak. Look at the volume. As the market in Cardano was shooting higher in price, the volume definitely came through. Now, we're not really seeing that volume. So let us know that the sell pressure in the market in Cardano is not that extreme. It's not that bad, not yet, okay? Weekly time frame in Cardano, you guys can see weekly time frame for the month of February to see the market in Cardano go higher in price. We're finally seeing some reprieve of that price movement. So like I told you, we're looking for the market in Cardano to really hold some consolidation of trading in this space, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this ascending line because like I told you on that three day time frame, the market in Cardano is anticipated as we go throughout the month of March to break that trend, okay? Now we're gonna create a trading channel into the market for Cardano. This area right here, which is around 95 cents, is gonna be the support area into the market, okay? The overall channel of support into the market in Cardano. You can also tell, as I create this line, that this market in Cardano is in a downtrend, right? You can see that. We're trending lower and the market is trending well below that ascending line, I mean descending line. So that gives us a heads up as to the overall trend right now to the market in Cardano. Now, I told you that this area is gonna be trading as support, okay? Now I can see the next area of support around $1.25, which is right there. Let's try to give us a visual depiction as to where that area is too, okay? But this is the current area of support right there around $1.20 like I told you earlier, okay? So that is restriction. And here, looking at the market in Cardano, this area right there is support. Okay, so maybe around like 98 to a dollar is gonna be the support area into the market for Cardano. Now I wanna zoom in and you all can see here how the market in Cardano is not really giving us a lot of information. We're not seeing a biased direction as to what the market wants to do outside of this, okay? This is the hourly trend right now to the market in Cardano. So while we're seeing the market in Cardano go higher in price, we're seeing the volume dwindle. Definitely need to keep our eyes open on that. Okay, so actually in the hourly time frame, yeah, I can see the market going higher in price. You know, I can definitely see the market emphasize that it wants to try to come up here and test this $1.20 area, but I don't think it's gonna be successful in the long term. Even if it does, we got the next area right on its heels at $1.25, okay? So let's go ahead and do this prediction real quick and I'll let you all go because time is very valuable. And what we're going to do, we are going to play some weakness into the market in Cardano. Now, just like I did in the last video, I'm not expecting the market generally to crash, but that we can expect some weakness to actually be placated and seen throughout the next three days, okay? Now, definitely, as we see this market try to increase in price today, possibly even going into tomorrow, if we don't break $1.20, even $1.25 to the upside, the weakness is still in control, okay? So I'm giving you all that heads up right now, okay? So now, I'm gonna hold this market around 98 cents. We would definitely TP it around a dollar into the market in Cardano, which is around 11 and a quarter percent market moving to where the market currently is trading at. Also pay attention to this area. We will skim off a little bit right here as well, which is around $1.10. That is about 3%. Small profit, but again, that area is being seen as support in the market in Cardano, okay? So right now, everything looks pretty good. The market is not extremely weak. We're just gonna play weakness in the next three days, expecting the market in Cardano to give us a little bit more weakness, i.e. 
that's it just a little i'm not expecting the market to completely crash down to 50 cents or even 80 cents right now but generally just continue to sideways trade in action with a little bit of weakness and movement to the downside and that's it this is what we're seeing this is how we're interpreting the price bars and the volume now is your turn how would you interpret the price bar and the volume for cardano let everyone else know in our community where you expect price to be where you expect price to go and what would you or how would you or where will you exit out your position in cardano all right so definitely tell everyone with a comment in the comment section what you're seeing into the marketing cardano and that's it let's not make it complicated questions comments let us know make sure you maintain a profitability and you know you know trade different